Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you some really easy ways to edit your lightbox images with your iPhone camera editor. So starting off with this picture of a couple pair of sunglasses, I'm going to crop out the corners and the sides so I have a nice even white background. Then I'm going to edit some color and the light. I'm going to bump up that exposure, try and bring out that white a bit more. I'm going to drop the brilliance here, um, try and bring out those shadows and that color up the highlights, drop the shadows, bump the contrast up, bump the brightness up, bring out some of the black in those sunglasses so there's a bit more contrast to the background. So with each image that you take, you really just kind of have to mess around with all of the settings to kind of see what fits best for you. Um, it's pretty simple and I'll show you a few more examples. Similar to the last one, except we have a black backdrop in this image, so I'm going to crop that to where I see fit. I'm going to then jump into editing the color and the light. I'm going to bring up those highlights. I'm going to drop down those shadows to bring out that black a little bit better. I'm going to go up with the contrast, drop the exposure a bit. And then that one was really simple, you know, you've got this nice black backdrop and the hand really pops. Like I said, you kind of just have to mess around. So with this image of this purse, I'm going to crop just like I did in the last ones to where it kind of works best for me. Then I'm going to dip into editing of some of the light so I can bring out some more of that white. I'm going to up the exposure a bit. I'm going to bring up that brilliance to bring out the color in the bag. I'm going to bring up the highlights. I'm going to drop the shadows a little bit for some contrast, bring up the brightness of the image as a whole. And then really it's that easy. Like that looks great. Like I honestly can't believe these are taken with iPhone. They, some of them look better than my DSLR. So with this one, same thing. We've got a black backdrop, this cute little plant that I like to reuse. I'm going to, you know, put them where I want in my cropping. I'm going to jump to lower the exposure just a little bit. I'm going to bring down that brilliance to darken those blacks. Maybe go back up with the exposure here. Bring up the highlights. Drop the shadows a lot to bring out that black. And that looks good to me. So for this last one, I've just got a picture of a couple cars. I'm going to crop out those sides and then jump into editing some light. I'm going to bump up that exposure to bring out some of that white. I'm going to drop the brilliance to hold on to that color. I'm going to drop the highlights just a little bit, drop the shadows down, bring up some contrast in those cars. And really that's it. We get a lot of people that ask, you know, do you need a nice camera to shoot with a light box? And that's really not true, um, especially with the phones that we have nowadays, the cameras are amazing of course if you plan to print something really large or you have like a really detailed image on your site you may want to look into getting um, a DSLR but for right now I think the smartphones do a really great job on capturing some really beautiful images of your products or whatever you're shooting so uh, let us know if you have any questions you can reach us at info at macrofrim.com and I'm more than happy to help you edit thanks guys